Hi guys, hola mi gente, Salvador here and today we're going to be reviewing and unboxing an amazing 1990s Barbie and I love the 90s because I'm a 1990s kid and well I guess 1990s early 2000s and the 90s were like the best decade ever like keep it real and everyone's just like really nostalgic about the 90s and everything and I think that's because like it reminds of reminds us of our childhood or you know maybe when we're younger and you know Fuller House and other shows are coming back. I really hope that my favorite shows uh, do come back like from the early 2000s like um, Rebelde. I would love for that show to come back even if they're like coming back as parents or whatever but yeah so as you guys know I am not sponsored or what's the word? Yeah, basically, I don't get any dolls for free. <laughs> Everything that I have, I work for, I pay for it, or a friend gives it to me. <laughs> and that is the case with this uh, doll that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. This is a gift from my best friend, Keith. And I refer to him as Kiki, like the song. But yeah, so I'm gonna call him Kiki and I gotta be honest, most of my, my 1990s Barbie collection uh, does come from Kiki because he loves to give them to me. So far I have three, including the one I'm gonna show you guys, that uh, came from him. And yeah, I think I'm only missing two, but my big mouth was like, oh, I'm gonna get totally hair. For Christmas because she's not too crazy expensive and he's like I was gonna give it to you for Christmas so I guess I'm not gonna get the doll anymore <laughs> but anyways let's go ahead and get started and I hope you guys like this review if you like it please subscribe and yeah let's go ahead so I don't know about you guys but I totally feel that like whenever somebody that you like care about so much and gives you um, a gift is just like a better gift like somebody else could have given it to you but the fact that it came from someone that you know you care for so much and love it's like i don't know how to explain it it's kind of like when my dad's like oh my god it's well he he'd never say oh my god <laughs> but when my dad would tell me like oh when someone treats you and they mean it from their heart or they actually wanted to do it uh things just taste better they come out better and you like them better so i Think that's totally the case because I love my uh, 1990s Barbie collection and yeah let's go ahead and actually show you the ones that I have so far so this is wrap and rocking and I actually did a review for her if you guys want to look at the review um from <laughs> a minute ago and I love the crimped hair and the crimped hair is like totally 90s and so is them thinking that Barbie could be a rapper <laughs> don't get me wrong we have like well, I guess we don't have a lot of, like, I don't want to say preppy, but, like, good girl rappers. I don't know, but my rappers that I love are, like, Nicki Minaj, Iggy Azalea, Missy Elliott, and some Latinas, too, because, you know, I love my Latina rappers. But I've never seen a good girl be a rapper, so I don't know. But I do love this Barbie and the shoes. And the outfit and that air conditioner is really loud anyways let me show you the other one the other one is glitter hair and it's like the holy trinity of long hair because like guys look at that like length she has some packs in that weave and I don't know the outfit is just like so 90s and so cool and I'm so glad the air conditioner thing went off and yeah the sneakers um, the outfit it's so dope and I really need to stop saying dope because then again, it's the 90s and we love the 90s. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and um, I also did a review on her. It's called uh, 19 the Boxing in 1990s Barbie. And it's really going to be called the same thing because I'd rather you guys like being like the suspense of who it is going to be. And yeah, so without further ado, um, this is the Barbie and she's so amazing and I love it so much Kiki I was not expecting it I can tell you that much because he also gave me a fashion royalty doll 
um, well, not fashion royalty, new face, but you guys probably know her better as uh, fashion royalty. He gave me the new face by Elaine, and she's so amazing and so beautiful. And you guys have probably seen it on my Instagram. I've been taking a break from Instagram because honestly, it was getting to the point where I was like spending so much time on it, and it was making me like ugh, just like it was too much. I needed to take a break from Instagram, but I am back. And yeah, if you go to my Instagram, that was one of the latest posts that I did by Elaine. But yeah, she's amazing. And he also gave me like another, well, he gave me a lot of stuff when I visited New York. Um, yeah, I went to visit him and uh, Jesse. Another fun fact is that my friend Malibu Babe uh, did a cosplay of this Barbie. And guys, Malibu, Girl, you're so amazing with your cosplay. Like, Henny. She went to RuPaul's Drag Wrong. Drag uh, she went to RuPaul's Drag Race and it was just so amazing. She, her outfit was sickening. One of my other friends, Jonathan, went to you and he went as the 1959 original Barbie and girl, he killed it. It was. He looked amazing, amazing. But, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, this is the Barbie, and as you can tell, there's no Christy, which is really sad, or no Kira. It's just Teresa, Skipper, Barbie, and Ken. And how about that crop top, guys? Well, I don't know if it's really a crop top, because it kind of looks like it. No, it is a crop top. How about that crop top? And it actually hurts a little bit to unbox her, because she's so cute, and... Oh, it hurts my feelings to open her because I love the box, but I'm going to do it anyways because she's been on my wish list. Um, Actually, I was talking about, I was telling, he, he like knows me like better than like my psychologist. <laughs> He's just like, well, if I had a psychologist, he knows me so well. And I was telling him that I wanted that glitter hair Barbie as a kid because my cousin had it and, you know, I couldn't play with dolls. But <laughs> he knew that I really wanted this one. So he got it for me. And let's go ahead and open it. Let's see. Um. Okay, you guys. So the thing about 1990s Barbies that have been stored away for a minute. It's um their hair. Does need a little TLC because it's been on the box for so long. And <laughs> it's a little like... It just needs to be boiled, washed, or steamed. And I need to wash her because some of the glue is like on her cheek. But besides that, she's in perfect, well, she was new, so I guess that helps. And <laughs> the really funny thing is like, it comes with this like hair a hairspray thing. And let's see if I can get better light. There we go says Barbie right there and what you basically do it also comes with this calm right here not cool it's actually yellow but it looks green on my screen for some reason what you basically do is you put it on the doll like that and then you put the spritz on it and it's supposed to make it um pink I'm really scared to try it but we're gonna try it because I'm gonna boil water anyways I don't know if this is gonna work because this doll is from how old are you? 1992, so I was two at the time. Let's see. <laughs> what is this? 20, 28, 27? Girl, I dropped something. <laughs> I'm so scared, but I'm gonna try it because this is, this is, we have to try it. If anything, we'll just wash it out. I'm trying it. Oh, you guys, it works. <gasps> That's so crazy. How cool is that? OMG. Of course, that doesn't really look like a star. So I'm guessing the mechanism is like on the hair. Okay, we're gonna try it again, but I'm gonna do a better one. Because <laughs> that looks so ugly. That's so weird. It's just water, though. Okay, so I guess that's the magic part. I mean, the instructions are right here. And the hair is Hollywood. Okay, let's try it again, but let me do a better one. No, it's not gonna work. 
Ah. Uh, okay, so that was my second try. And what it basically does, well, it's supposed to be more neat. But the hair turns pink with this little substance. And yeah, that's interesting. And you know what? It's starting to like leak into that's the thing, it doesn't stain. It, like goes away. That's so weird, but I'm not gonna spray anymore. Should I spray it? Well, I'm not blonde, it's not gonna work on me. <laughs> Okay, so it says, for Barbie, Teresa, Skipper, hold the star cut out over their hair and spray mist and the stars up here, but I am not gonna mess with it. Now I have to wash her hair because my dumbass wanted to try it, but you know what, YOLO, so. And it's weird because like, it doesn't stain, but it does turn pink. I don't know, it's so weird, you guys, but. Um. I feel like I'm in a commercial with my like oversized hoodie. Um, okay, so if I was in a Barbie conven convention, actually, I might go next year. So you never know. If you guys go to Barbie convention, do you want me to blog about it? <laughs> okay, so if I was in a Barbie convention, <laughs> convention, there I go again. Oh my god, you guys will think I'm. You guys, well, I am stupid. <laughs> Sometimes. I'm a smart girl and I do like math. That's what she would say. Oh, and the hair, um, the pink, it's starting to disappear. So I'm guessing if her hair was straight, it would look better, but it's not. So yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do our little commercial. If I was in a Barbie commercial, there, I finally said it. <laughs> how, would, <laughs> how would it look? The new glitter hair Barbie has long hair and <laughs> grown men playing Barbies, y'all. Oh, do you like my hair? It's the new Hollywood hair Barbie. Oh my God. Am I not the cutest? Look at my amazing makeup. And you know what? I've been going on and on talking about like the... <laughs> I haven't even gone to like do the actual review. Oh, and by the way, this this doll's hair looks amazing. But if you watch my review, it didn't look like this originally. I had to boil wash it and give her a little TLC. But look how amazing she looks. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, and snap, and work. I've been watching too much posts. <laughs> okay, so let's start up. Let's start talking, and let me just tell you. The 1990s Barbie quality was like the best in the world and I'm gonna pull a Kanye and I'm sorry Barbie today but yeah the 1990s quality was way better because how can you tell me that a doll that just like just like almost the same age as me is like in such perfect condition and the quality is like amazing even in the box because let me tell you like some of the dolls like in the box from like recent um developments or whatever like they don't look that good girl like honey they don't look that good but this one does and look at the detail it's like a little bodysuit actually let me take it off yeah it's like a bodysuit and I like ask you guys go to Malibu Babes uh Instagram because she does like an amazing cosplay on it I think she uses Moschino boots and I think she painted them gold, but look how cute those little boots are. And I think Moschino was inspired from this doll for one of their um, looks from the, was it FW13? Was it 13 or 16? I think it was 15. FW, um, no, 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 it wasn't winter. It was spring, summer 2015, I believe, that Moschino did the Barbie inspired brand. And yeah, the makeup's amazing. The quality on the clothes is really good. And let me just say that 90s Barbies are the best Barbies ever. Like, <laughs> yeah. But thank you so much for watching my videos. I really enjoy the comments, even the hate ones. There was a really funny one that was like, yo, I saw the beard and I honestly thought that you were straight till, I, till you opened your mouth. <laughs> Girl, when I tell you, they actually deleted the comment but I got to see it and I, I told my friend Kiki about it and he was laughing so hard with me because like 
what the heck? Like, having a beard has nothing to do with your boys. This is how I talk. Like Ariana Grande. <laughs> no, but seriously, dude. If you like my video, subscribe, watch, and you guys have an amazing day.